Violence is a problem that we have reported about a lot recently. Especially domestic violence with a deadly ending. WCT's Daniela Hankey spoke with one family who lost their daughter to domestic violence. Daniela, they want to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. Right, Fran, and one way the Gillikins are doing that is by keeping the memory of their daughter Faith alive, even while the memory of her tragic death stays with them every day. When I pulled in the yard, April was screaming, she's dead, Paul, she's dead. Paul Gillikin painfully recalls the moment his wife, April, broke the devastating news on May 7th, 2022. Faith Gillikin had been shot and killed outside the shipyard of Wilmington Apartment Complex along Carolina Beach Road. The person accused of pulling the trigger was someone Faith had been dating and well-known in Wilmington, Jonathan Burgess. They thought they heard some gunshots and they looked around and both of them saw what was going on. Faith got right out the car to try to kind of confront him. He shot her in the head. Burgess now faces a list of charges, including first degree murder. But the cold hard truth is, crimes like these are happening at an alarming rate. Roughly half of the homicides in the Wilmington area this year alone are domestic incidents. It can be a uh, spur of the moment. Um, somebody who has some serious problems controlling their anger. As we know, domestic violence situations can be incredibly violent and can turn incredibly violent very quickly. And oftentimes people resort to a weapon. Weapons that are easier to come by nowadays. There are certainly a lot more guns out there uh, than there probably was 10 or 15 years ago. While domestic and gun violence don't go hand in hand, together they can have deadly consequences, like in the case of Faith Gillikin. We were best friends. Faith and I were best friends. She loved fun. She was funny. She was gorgeous. Mm. She's intelligent, a very hard worker. Once she set a goal, she was zeroed in on it and she achieved it. The goal she had was taken away too soon. She was soon going to graduate esthetician school and begin a new chapter. I was asked to walk the stage and receive her diploma. It's a proud moment for me. Everything I do is for faith. Now the Gillikins have a goal of their own to raise awareness about the very real threat of domestic violence. They've participated in walks and events before Michael and are working Boyne. towards creating a nonprofit in her honor. We don't know what we're going to do, really. We want to do a lot, but we it's all, hard. We all, you know, it's from hard. From the beginning, it's we hard. said we wanted to do something, and it's kind of hard to do that, but we will. We walk by faith. That's our motto. Maintaining faith for their faith that they will protect someone from a similar fate. Faith Gillikin was only 25 years old, but domestic violence can impact people of all ages. There is help available through a 24-7 crisis hotline. All you have to do is call 910-343-0703. Daniela Hankey, WECT News.